Barbara? Hallo. Good. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen, Katharina. Still two more minutes to go. So let's find, we want to start sitting. So find a comfortable seat. And when I remember I'm posting already what I'm going to read. For some people, it's a bit more easier to um, read it before to understand. So give yourself time. Oh, Florian is coming. Hi. Cool. Good morning. You two more minutes, so find a comfortable seat. If you have a block or a book around, we will maybe, maybe if you want to use it. So if you want to put it on the side, please go crazy, put it on your side. Hello, who's coming? Hi, Lou. Hi, if you're here. So let's start slowly. Find a comfortable seat, use blanket, use pillow. This morning I have two friends here sitting behind camera. So <laughs> they're saying hello and saying good morning. As we have luckily a big enough yoga shala, we can practice with enough distance. So, and they are living around and joining me, which is really super nice. So, a nice little crew. For this morning, find a comfy seat, finding length in your spine, resting your shoulders. Maybe you want to lifting them up, rolling them back and down to connect a bit with your neck, with your shoulders, planting your hands on your knees or in front of your belly. Like always, we want to connect first internal. So closing your eyes for a moment, taking a really nice big, big inhaling. And with this inhaling, letting yourself rise in with your spine and rooting down with your exhaling, softening your skin, your muscles, and see that you avoid collapsing, staying long. Maybe you want to need one more very conscious breath to connect with your breath, to connect with your inner world. Bringing your awareness, bring it towards yourself. Soft in your hands, in your muscles. Soft in your organs. Leaning back a tiny bit as if there is a wall behind you. So you give yourself a bit of a release in your front side. Specifically in these days with this uncertainty. We have this tendency to lean forward, to closing our front side, trying to protect, trying to make us feeling more safe. And in fact, we're doing the opposite. We're feeling more crunched. We can't connect to what is really going on internally when we are closing off ourselves. So let yourself leaning back, a tiny bit, and maybe you can feel that it's a bit of a release in your system. And maybe you can breathe a tiny bit easier. And yesterday we've been, we had a little kind of a, a small training, our little team, 
and we had 15, six people sitting together, all with masks, all with distancing. And there was one moment I just felt it is so strange with all these masks, with this distancing, not being able, seeing eyes. And as I spoke already before, there was this sense and this feeling. Maybe this gives us something positive this time. There needs to be something positive, helping humanity, even it's going super wild. What is going on in this world? It seems it's all turning upside down. All what we've been kind of practicing for, looking forward, it seems it's turning upside down. And I still strongly believe and holding on to this strong belief. There is a light, there is something coming out of this positive, where we, humanity, may be walking into more lightness, into more consciousness, into more brightness, into more authenticity, into more being and living together. Instead of this fighting, comparing, judging, competing constantly. And in this thought, I found this thought only a people. I found, found these thoughts from Leslie Dwight, and I found it just very beautiful and very adequate. So I'm going to read it now. What if 2020 is cancelled? What if 2020 is the year we've been waiting for? A year so uncomfortable, so painful, so scary, so raw, that is finally forcing us to grow. A year that screams so loud, finally awakening us from our ignorant slumber. A year we finally accept the need to change, declare change, work for change, become the change. A year we finally band together instead of pushing each other further apart. 2020 isn't cancelled, but rather the most important year of all of them. And gently and slowly for our pranayama today, focusing on your belly, two or three centimeters below your belly button and letting this belly growing. So connecting with your root chakra, with your mula bandha. So you want to inhaling, letting this belly growing forward and with your exhaling, sucking this belly in, bring it inward, and gently lift it up internally towards your heart. So you're letting yourself growing even more with your inhaling, counting for two, three, four, five, holding your press, exhaling, consciously bringing your belly in two, three centimeters below your belly button and lifting it up internally towards your heart, stay empty for a moment, inhaling two, three, four, five, exhaling four, three, two, one, feel free using your ujjayi breath and this is comfortable for you. Inhaling two, three, four, five, six, holding, exhaling five, four, three, two, one, pause. One more expansion. Inhaling two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, exhaling, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhaling, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last round with six, inhaling, two, three, four, five, six, exhaling, five, four, three, two, one, releasing your pranayama, maybe connecting to your natural breath for a moment, or you stay in your ujjayi when this is your practice. Observing for a moment changes physically, emotionally, energetically, mind. Noticing change, subtle change, all these tiny little changes we tend to ignore. Of course, it's not big, it's not great. Maybe it's not that fantastic as we think and we want. Slowly interlacing your fingers, rounding your spine. So you want to rounding, pushing your heart back, pushing your belly back, bringing your shoulders towards your ears, giving yourself a bit of a stretching and inhaling, bringing your arms over your head, releasing your shoulders, softening in your skin, in your muscles, deepening your breath, rooting down from your seat, exhaling, turning to your left side, a gentle waking up in your twisting, inhaling back into your neutral, exhaling, turning to your right side, inhaling back into your neutral, exhaling your left, inhaling in your neutral, exhaling your right, inhaling in your neutral, bringing your hands on the back of your skull, closing your elbows, chin meeting your sternum, releasing the weight of your shoulders, your arms on the back of your skull. Where is your breath when we start to move? We have this tendency of breath getting very shallow, very subtle, focusing on your breath. Stay with your neck where it is, bringing your hands in front of your face, feeling the soft touch of your hands. And with your hands, bring your head back into your neutral, releasing your arms on your side. Sweep your arms over your head with your inhaling. Exhaling, bringing your arms towards your side, lifting your shoulders, rolling them forward, rolling them back and down. Inhaling, arms over your head, soft touch of this air. Exhaling, bringing your arms back onto your side, lifting your shoulders, rolling forward, rolling them back and down, interlacing your fingers, rounding your spine, swapping this interlace. So you want to round in your spine. One more really sweet little stretching. When I'm talking a bit too fast, when the movements are going fast and you need more time, Please find your own pace and skipping some movements. Inhaling, bringing your arms over your head, releasing your shoulders and observe your chest. Tight shoulders, what happens very often, we fall gently into lower back and lifting chest to compensate tightness in shoulders. When this happens, 
really straightening your spine. Maybe you need to bring your arms a tiny bit more further away from your ears. Stay. Every inhaling, giving you length, growing, cleansing internally. With fresh air, exhaling, letting tension falling away. One more deep inhaling, finding length. Exhaling, opening fingers, turning to your right side, twisting, gaze over your right shoulder. Belly is breathing. Inhaling, coming back into your neutral arms over your head, rising, lengthening, turning to your left side, right hand outside, left knee, left hand in line with your spine. See that you do not leaning back, stay in your center. Inhaling, reaching forward from oh, up over your head. And from here, you want to reaching forward, rooting down from your seat, planting your fingertips onto the floor, rooting down. So you want to create a bit more space in your inner coins, push your seat back. And then from here, maybe you can folding forward a tiny bit, finding your limitations. Closing your eyes, finding a long spine and softening in your hips. Maybe there is a tiny bit more space and you can forward bend even a bit more, releasing your forehead, meeting the floor. Stay on your fingertips when this is needed. It doesn't matter. Is there any area in your body you could consciously softening even a tiny bit more to helping yourself folding forward, inhaling, walking your hands back, coming into your neutral, change the crossing of your legs, bringing your other foot in front, your arms on your side, sweep your arms over your head, exhaling, start twisting to your left side, Right hand outside, left knee, left arm in, in line. Raise your spine. Belly is breathing, chest is breathing, kidneys filling up with air. Heart expanding, mind settling. Inhaling, coming back into your neutral arms, over your head, shoulders easing. Soft face turning, right side, left hand outside, right knee. Inhaling, coming back into your neutral, arms over your head. One more time, you're reaching forward from your heart and you're pushing back from your seat, releasing your hands, opening your chest, walking into a tiny bit further and pushing your seat back to create a bit more space in your hips. You stay here, observing your difference of your side. Then one foot is in, one leg is in front. Maybe it is super different than the other side. Folding forward even a tiny bit more when there is more space. Closing your eyes. (sighs) 
in these times we are focusing so much outside with these constant changes, this uncertainty, what is going on, this unknown. And we are forgetting, focusing inside, noticing our little changes happening. Inhaling, walking your hands back into your neutral and helping with your hands, closing your knees, planting your feet onto the floor. When you've been sitting on something, pushing it away towards the side, giving your legs a bit of a shake, letting these muscles releasing. Maybe your legs are tickling from sitting, planting your feet hip it apart onto the floor, your hands behind. So you will want to bring your hands under your shoulders and your fingers pointing towards your toes, rolling back your shoulders, opening your chest. And you're pressing your feet into the floor, lifting your seat, warming yourself up a tiny bit while you're pressing your feet into the floor, exhaling, coming down. And and sliding your hips between your arms, lengthening your legs, inhaling, pressing your feet, opening up, keep on moving, and you're coming down, sliding through, inhaling, lifting, exhaling, finding your own rhythm, exhaling, inhaling, lifting, exhaling, more times, inhaling, lifting, exhaling. Your last time you want to stay spreading your fingers wide, pressing your feet into the floor, rolling back your shoulders, making sure you do not overstretch in your throat. You want to be able to find a beautiful sound in your throat, like a sweet little Inhaling, coming back onto your seat, crossing your heels, rolling over your knees, planting your hands, knees, hands and the shoulders, knees, hip it apart, giving yourself a moment, settling into your cat cow. So you want to start moving in any direction. Rolling your shoulders, your neck, your hips, as if you can massage yourself into this posture, your knees, your shoulders, your hands, your face is soft. Breathe, finding sweet, soft movement in every little corner of your body. You want to bring some awareness, some breath, some softness. Press, planting your right hand in front of your face, stretching out your left leg and curling your toes under, making sure you do not fall into your shoulders. So lifting yourself up, plant, opening your left hip, planting your left foot onto the floor, lifting your left arm towards the ceiling like a mini half moon. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you want to play a tiny bit with your balance and you want to lifting your left leg. It can be a tiny bit wobbly here. Breathe. Making sure you do not fall into your lower back. Reaching with your left arm over your head, giving you a full side stretch of your body. Breathe. Stay. Maybe you have a bit more playfulness and you find with your left hand, your left ankle, and find the sweet little waking up in your back bending, finding your inner frishti, your inner gaze. 
Breathe, inhaling, releasing, reaching back with your leg, with your arm, exhaling, planting your left hand, your left knee back onto the floor and changing side. So your left hand in front of your face, your right leg, reaching, curling first your toes. You first want to find alignment from your left knee, your left hand, and then you're opening your right hip, planting your foot, lifting your right arm towards the ceiling. Raise, first step, all good. Raise, you don't need to go further. Maybe you find your balance and you can lifting your leg. Maybe you can go a tiny bit further, reaching with your right arm over your head, finding your balance, aligning your mind with your breast. And maybe there is a bit space and you can folding in your knee, finding with your right hand, your right ankle and pushing your heel far away from you, opening your chest. Inhaling, releasing. Exhaling, planting hand, planting your knee onto the floor, opening your knees, midwits apart, big toes touching, open legged child pose, walking your arms forward, for resting onto the floor. Child pose, balasana, always available. When you need to find a bit of an integration, a need of a rest, it is your practice. Take it to the level which feels comfortable for you. Challenging yourself and not over challenging. Inhaling, bringing your hands back under your shoulders, knees back under your hips, gazing forward, rounding your spine, curling your toes, lifting your seat in your downward facing dog, giving yourself a bit, paddling your feet like we've done in tabletop. You want to find movements, soft ones, gentle ones to opening up, getting rid of this rigidness. I have to, I must, I should, my body should be like this. My mind should be like that. Everyone else should be like this. I'm thinking they should be, they have to be. Finding your sweetness, your softness. We all have limitations. We all are doing our best. Inhaling, lifting your heels coming onto your tippy toes, bending your knees, your belly needs, needs, your thighs, lengthening your arms, shaking your head, making some funky phrases, William. Maybe some funky sounds coming out. Exhaling, releasing your heels towards the floor. One more time, you're lifting your heels, Bending your knees, pushing with your hands. Your seat wanna reach towards the sky. Your head is heavy. One more funky sound. <laughs> Exhaling, releasing your heels. Stepping your feet together, lifting your right leg towards the ceiling. Stay square with your hips. Bending your knee and stepping your right foot between your hands, lengthening your leg, lengthening your spine, gazing forward. Come on to your fingertips when you need, opening your chest, breathe. Exhaling, stepping back, swinging your right leg towards the ceiling. Exhaling.
stepping your right foot back and your left leg inhaling your left leg stay square with your hips breathe exhaling stepping your left foot between your hands your knee over your foot opening your chest and pushing with your right heel open your chest you want to find alignment your body is one piece it's not just head knee shoulders it is one piece breathe planting your hands swinging your left leg back lifting it up exhaling coming back down and rolling your spine finding your high plank exhaling releasing your knees your toes chin chest meeting the floor inhaling sneaking into your mini cobra your big toes touching ten toes onto the floor inner point opening up stay pushing your hands towards your heart exhaling lifting your heart and finding your downward facing dog bending your knees gaze between your hands walking your feet between your hands lengthening coming halfway finding your hands on your knees and giving yourself for waking up on your knees with your hands a nice little massage front side back side and then from here you're letting your hand sliding along your shin bones with your inhaling coming round from your heels lifting yourself up bringing your hands on your calf muscle and on your hamstrings lifting your seat opening your chest breathe hands coming around and you're sliding down along your legs with your exhaling folding one more time with your hands waking up your skin bringing your hands around finding your sit bones so you can find your sit bones pushing back a long spine heart opening up exhaling bringing your hands around and sliding down staying here for a moment hugging your elbows making sure your shoulders softening your neck is long releasing your arms inhaling long legs long spine coming into your standing Bring your prayer in front of your chest, closing your eyes for a moment. And maybe spontaneously, there is something popping up in your mind, what you feel you would like to change for yourself in this time. An attitude, a way of behaving, a way you see what's happening, maybe whatever there is finding spontaneously your intention for today's practice to bring in some energy and to help your mind to focus on your intention releasing your arms sun salutation sweep your arms over your head folding forward from your hips bending your knees stepping your right stepping your left finding your high length stay one breath in your high plank exhaling release your knees your toes chin chest meeting the floor inhaling and wriggling and finding your cobra curving your toes lifting your seat in your downward facing dog stay breathe finding lightness in your down dog finding softness in your down dog stay one more breath breathe long spine is more important than you have your legs long bending your knees gaze between your hands 
hopping, stepping, or walking forward, inhaling, coming halfway, folding forward with your exhaling, inhaling, coming in your standing, exhaling, bringing your prayer in front of your chest, intention with one breath, releasing your arms, exhaling, inhaling, three, exhaling, folding forward, bending your knees, start with your left, stepping back, your right in your high plank, stay, exhaling, one more time, knees, chin, chest, elbows, glued to your body, inhaling, rolling back your shoulders, pulling your hands towards your heart, maybe you rise higher, exhaling, curling your toes, lifting your seat, down dog, stay, Breathe, remembering your pranayama with your belly button. This activates your mula bandha, your root chakra. This place we feel home. This place we feel safe. Breathe. Bending your knees, gaze between your hands, hopping, walking, or stepping forward, inhaling halfway, folding in with your exhaling, inhaling with one breath, come in your standing, bring your prayer in front of your chest, eyes closed, intention, focus, Releasing your arms, inhaling, three your arms over your head, exhaling, folding forward, bending your knees. People used to jumping back, feel free, taking a vinyasa, coming in your Shaturanga Dandasana, or you're walking back. So take what you feel is healthy for you, exhaling, and let's meet in downward facing dog, your toes spreading wide, like your fingers spreading wide, your heels releasing towards the floor, or please stay bent in your knees when you need. Brace, stay. Your belly button is the one pushing towards the ceiling, helping your seat pushing up. Press, bending your knees, gaze between your hands, hopping, walking, stepping forward, inhaling halfway, folding in with your exhaling, inhaling, come into your standing, bring your prayer in front of your chest, closing your eyes, stepping your feet together, Utkatasana, bending your knees, arms along your legs. What we've done before, this pushing back from your seat, releasing your arms, pressing your feet, your knees into each other, lifting, making sure you do not fall into your lower back, your tailbone between your heels. Exhaling, folding forward, really getting this energy, folding forward, inhaling, coming halfway, Exhaling, stepping your right foot back and open it 60 degrees for your first warrior. Hips facing front, knee bending, shoulders facing front. Open your foot 60 degrees, bring it a tiny bit more towards the side, Alexandre, and bring your toes facing front a bit more, this other one. Yes, releasing your arms so you can bring your hips forward. Inhaling, pressing the outside edge of your foot. This is it, lifting your inner arch. Bending your front knee even a tiny bit more. And step, bring your back hip, your right hip. This is it. Reaching forward from your arms, and then from here, you're lengthening your front leg, 
folding forward, breathe. Maybe your knees stay bent, your hands onto the floor, or you're reaching behind, interlacing your fingers and giving yourself a bit of a shoulder stretch. Brace, your neck grows long. Your breath is deep. Inhaling, bending your front knee, your arms releasing, and you're coming back into your first warrior. Maybe you gaze in line with your fingers, bending your front knee a tiny bit more. Exhaling, planting your head onto the floor, bring your right foot back, stepping back into your high plank. Listen, breathe, stay in your high plank. Your left hand in front of your face, turning your toes towards your side, into your side plank. Breathe, lifting your right arm. You always can step your feet, separating or you're lowering down your left knee. Breathe, lifting your hips, exhaling, planting your hand, bringing your toes back, exhaling, knees, chin, chest, or Shakuranga Dandasana in your choice. Inhaling your heart, exhaling in your downward facing dog stay breathe making some movement in your neck making some movement in your face maybe this provokes some sounds your shoulders rolling back Breathe, bending your knees, gaze between your hands, hopping, walking, or stepping forward, stepping your feet together, inhaling, coming halfway. Remember, your knees are soft, folding in. You're exhaling, gaze towards your belly button, stay spreading your toes, your feet rooting down. Bending your knees, Utkatasana, inhaling, your shoulders easing, your spine grows even longer. Where is your belly? Mula Bandha, root chakra. Breathe. Folding forward, really letting yourself folding forward. Bending your knees and stepping your left foot back. 60 degrees opening, front knee bends, both hips facing front. So your left hip, when are coming in front, right knee bends, arms over your head. Hips front, this is it, beautiful. Use your hands when you need. Breathe, bending your front knee a tiny bit more. Nice calf muscle stretch. Breathe, smiling. Bringing your front knee a tiny bit more and then you reach it forward from your arms. Exhaling, slide slowly, lengthening your front leg, your right leg, pushing your right hip back, your left hip front, Stay with your hands where they are, or maybe you want to interlacing your fingers and giving yourself a bit of a waking up in your shoulders. <sighs> Exhaling, releasing, lifting yourself up from your heart. Real bending your front knee and lifting your arms. One more first warrior. Maybe you can gaze in line with your fingers, feeling the freedom in your shoulders. Raise your left hip when I'm coming forward, your right hip pushing back. Raise your front knee is bending. 
exhaling, planting your hands, stepping your left foot back, finding your high plank, stepping your feet together, right hand in front of your face, turning your toes towards your left side and lifting your arm. Breathe. Lifting your hips a tiny bit higher. Yeah. Breathe. One more breath. Exhaling, planting your hand and you choose Chaturanga Dandasana, knees, chin, chest, with sensitive shoulders. Please be gentle, 10 toes, active, heart lifting, exhaling, curling your toes, meeting your downward, facing dog, and one more time, we letting your face become soft, squeezing, deepening breath, let breath. One more deep breath. Bending your knees, gaze between your hands, hopping, walking, or stepping forward. Inhaling, coming halfway, folding forward in your exhaling. One breath, come in your standing. Bring your prayer in front of your chest. A moment, closing your eyes. How you can feel yourself. Can you feel your breath? Can you feel this energy flowing? Are you holding back? Are you pushing too hard? <sighs> Trikonasana, releasing your arms, inhaling, squeeze your arms. Exhaling, folding forward, bending your knees, stepping your left foot back, open it 45 degrees. Lengthening both of your legs, your left hand on your left hip, opening your torso. So you want to find a nice open chest. Releasing your right hand wherever it lands and lifting your left arms. Maybe it comes high like I am because I did hurt my hamstring. I can't come so low. Maybe you are lower. Who cares? Stacking your shoulders. Breathe. Breathe. Connecting with your core, connecting with your root chakra, connecting with your mula bandha, like really bringing your left arm reaching over your head and you're lifting your right arm as if you're hugging somebody in front of you. <sighs> Exhaling, releasing your left hand on your left shoulder, bending your front knee and in your other. Shantlasana, half moon. Oops. So you're bringing your right hand in line with your toes. Your left hand can stay on your hip. Right leg lengthening, gaze towards the floor, or you can start gazing towards your side, and maybe you can come into your full half moon, lifting your left arm. Breathe. One more breath. Exhaling, squaring your hips, squaring your shoulders, both hands coming onto the floor. Maybe your left leg is pushing back, your hips are square and you're gazing between your arms. Or you can come walking your hands closer towards your right ankle and come into your standing split. Maybe you wanna play bringing one hand, grabbing your right ankle, grabbing with your left hand, finding your balance. Are you holding in your neck? Are you holding in your face? Breathe. Bending your front knee, stepping your left foot back and come from here into your aeroplane. Your arms reaching back, your front knee is bending. 
Raise, releasing your arms. High lunge, arms over your head. Interlacing your fingers, point with your index finger, bending your front knee. Releasing your shoulders. Bending your front knee even a tiny bit more. Hips square. Raise, bending your left knee and letting this left knee hover two, three centimeters over the floor. Exhaling, releasing your left knee, your left toes, your hands framing your front foot, lengthening your right leg, pushing your right heel, hip back. Release. Scooping your left heel two centimeters towards your center, and you can come and sit in down on your heel, massaging your first chakra. When you can, you bring your foot coming down like this, flat onto the floor. This is it. And sit, use a block behind you. You can sit on a block when you have a block or a book. You can sit on it when this is a tiny bit tight or your, this part is a bit tight. It's nice to sit on something warming your first chakra. Lengthening, raise, inhaling, lifting your arms. Exhaling, folding forward, releasing your neck. You can stay with your hand on your side, whatever is good for you. Breathe. Inhaling, gazing forward from your heart. Exhaling, coming back into your sitting, walking with your hands, one palm of your hand back, fingers facing front, opening your chest and you're reaching forward from your right foot, lifting your seat, lifting your heart. Breathe. Exhaling, coming back down, bending your front knee, planting your right foot, Framing your foot with your hands, curling your back toes under, stepping back, coming into your high plank. Coming down onto your elbows, your fingers spreading wide, your heart between your elbows, forearm plank. Breathe. Releasing your knees, releasing your toes, belly button, Cubic bone meeting the floor, pulling your hands towards your heart. Stay in your swings or you're lifting your elbows, rolling back your shoulders, observing your spine. And you do not want to push your hands away that you fall into your elbows. You're pulling them towards your heart. Breathe, exhaling, coming down. Hands under your shoulders, curling your toes, lifting your seat in your downward facing dog, spreading your fingers, deepening your breath. Breathe, spending your knees, gaze between your hands, hopping, walking, stepping forward, inhaling, coming halfway. Exhaling, folding in, in your Uttanasana, forward fold. Spreading your toes, every 10 little ankles of your toes when I'm meeting the floor, making sure you're not crawling them in. Inhaling, come in your standing. Exhaling, bring in your prayer, closing your eyes. Where is your intention? Are you still focusing, 
releasing your arms, inhaling arms over your head, exhaling, folding forward, bending your knees, stepping your right foot back, open it 45 degrees, making sure your heel is not crossing the line that you do not bring your foot towards your left side, lengthening both of your legs, right hand on your right hip and helping you to opening your right hip. Maybe you stay with your hand, it doesn't matter. Maybe your left hand comes lower down, lifting your right trikonasana, finding length in every little area of your body. Connecting with your feet, connecting with these outer edges of your feet, pressing them down, lifting your inner arches, connecting to your mula bandha, pelvis floor, reaching over your head with your right arm and lifting your leg. Breathe. Inhaling, releasing, bringing your right hand on your right hip, gaze towards your left toes, bending your left knee, left hand 20 centimeters in line with your toes and your right leg is lifting up. Maybe you stay here, gazing towards your fingers, lifting your back leg, or you can opening your hip and gently start opening your arm towards the ceiling, come into your full Ardha Shantrasana, half moon. Your breath is steep, steady. One more breath. Exhaling, bringing both hands towards the floor, squaring your hips, your shoulders gazing forward, your right foot wanna meet the wall behind you, stay, or you're walking yourself into your standing split, lifting your right leg, and maybe you can grabbing with one hand, or your left ankle, with both of your hands, finding your balance. Breathe. Bending your front knee, stepping your right foot back, reaching forward from your heart, your arms reaching back in your aeroplane. Breathe. High lunge and your arms swinging over your head, interlacing your fingers, pointing with your index finger. Front knee is bending. Breathe. Softening in your shoulders, bending your front knee a tiny bit more, stretching out your right leg, pushing with your right heel, bending a tiny bit more, and your right knee hovers two centimeters over the floor, exhaling, releasing your knee, your toes, your hand, and lengthening your front leg while your foot is pressing down. Raise, pushing your hip back. Raise your right heel, scoops two centimeters towards your center while you're allowing yourself to sitting on your heel, knees meeting, hands next to your hips when you need. Please use a block, a book a blanket to help. You want to connect it with your root chakra. Breathe. And it gets really nicely stimulated. Arms over your head with your inhaling. Folding forward when this is possible or you're staying with your hands. You can stay with your hands supporting you. This is it.
Inhaling, gazing forward. Exhaling, coming back into your sitting, letting your hands, one palm of your hand sliding back, fingers pointing forward, hands under your shoulders, opening your chest, stay, or you're reaching forward from your foot, lifting your seat, giving yourself a really nice stretching here. Exhaling, coming back down onto your seat, gazing forward, bending your front knee, framing your foot, stepping back into your high plank, stay in your high plank. Breathe, coming down onto your elbows, on your forearm plank, shoulders spread, rolling back your shoulder blades. Breathe. You can stay here. It's a bit more difficult for your elbows. It's a bit more easy for your shoulders and elbows when you have your hands in front of you. Releasing your knees, releasing your toes, lowering down belly button, pubic bone. And while you're doing this, you're pulling your hands towards your heart to find a long spine. Breathe, shoulders rolling. Maybe you stay or you're lifting your elbows, shoulders staying down. Ten toes flat, this is it. Flat onto the floor. Breath. Exhaling, coming down, bringing your hands under your shoulders, curling your toes, lifting your seat in your downward facing dog. Stay, breathe. Breathe. Bending your knees, gaze between your hands, hopping, walking, stepping forward. Inhaling, coming halfway, exhaling, folding in and lifting your heels. Come on to your tippy toes and bending your knees, lowering down your seat towards your heels, your hands on top of your knees, opening palms of your hands index finger and one thumb gonna meet and you're working towards Ach, lowering, narrowing your gaze maybe for a moment you can balance on your toes and you find Anna is nicht dabei. stillness that you can close in your eyes mm. Reaching gently forward from your arms and letting yourself sit to the back, lengthening your legs, pushing with your hands, your flesh towards the side, Paschimottanasana, rest side stretch, your arms, your hands next to your hips, your spine grows long, inhaling your arms, exhaling, folding forward. Paschimottanasana, rest side stretch, shoulders rolling back, letting your neck growing long, your face is soft. Breath, nourishing your gentleness, your softness, your darkness.
Inhaling, gazing forward. Exhaling, coming into your sitting. I would like to take the shoulder stand. And from the shoulder stand, we can come immediately into uh, back bending. So maybe you just want to observe one tiny bit, and then we do it all together. It's a bit easier when you see. If you don't want to take shoulder stand, if you prefer having your head stand, please go ahead and take your head stand if you want to take it as an illusion. If you don't want to do any of these, you can come down onto your back and you bring your knees over your hips, making nice little fists with your hands, planting them under your seat and you bring your legs over over your hips. When you have a wall, you can shuffle towards the wall and bring your legs. This is higher, hips higher than hard. This is already an inversion. Coming in your shoulder stand, knees towards your chest. I just do it quickly. And you bring your legs over your head, helping yourself to come closer with your shoulders, helping with your hands on your kidneys and bringing your arms. We stay here for a moment. When you wanna come out, we do plow and we do knees, or you can come as well, bringing your hands a tiny bit lower and your hips where your sacrum is, separating your legs and coming down into a back bending. This one, we can work lifting one leg or lifting the other leg. So find your variation. When you don't want to do this back bending, you're coming out of your shoulder stand, coming onto the floor, hips, feet, hip bits apart, and then from here, you're coming into your bridges, or when you prefer, coming into your full wheel. Yep, so let's start. Choose maybe legs against the wall, completely fine. Maybe headstand or you're coming down onto your spine, stepping your feet closer and lifting your hips, come into your shoulders then, your feet reaching over your head, walking your shoulders together. And then from here, you're rooting down from your elbows, lifting your legs and a very super gentle gaze, as if you can gaze into nothingness, into this open, vast space, into this universe. You're softening your gaze. And while you're softening your gaze, you're softening your breath. In this pose, you don't want to take any more your ujjayi breath. You want to soften in your breath. You can start playing with your legs. So you can bring your legs towards the side, flexing your feet, pointing with your toes, flexing your feet, pointing with your toes, bending your knees, letting your soles of your feet, meeting in your center. Maybe you wanna try coming into your lotus or half lotus. I'm a super bad model for this. So some people have much opener hips. Being playful, you can let your legs scissoring apart. And when you feel ready, you bring your legs in your plow, halasana, over your head. Please listen. Only when your toe is meeting the floor, you can interlacing your fingers and lengthening your arms. When your toes do not meet the floor, please support with your hands, your back. When your toes can't meet the floor, you bringing too much pressure on your neck. So please only interlace fingers when your toe is meeting. Stay or maybe you want to folding in your knees, bringing your knees towards your ears and bringing your arms around on top of your calf muscles, creating some weight.
Inhaling, lengthening your legs, bringing your hands back onto your kidneys and with your legs nice and long, bone coming down. When you have your legs over your hips, gently bending your knees and hugging your knees towards your chest like we do everyone, coming down onto the floor. Oh no, sorry, I want you to do the back bending. So if you would like, please come back into your shoulders then. And we do this back bending. I wanted to come from here into a nice back bending. Sorry. So used to come out like this. So when you are here, you come back into your shoulder stand and then you're scissoring your legs apart, bending one knee, bending the other one and planting both feet onto the floor, your hands supporting under your hips, pressing your feet into the floor. Please find your variations. You can play and lifting one leg. And you can bring your foot down and lifting opposite leg. When you prefer, please come into your bridge. Or into your full wheel, planting your feet onto the floor, releasing your hands and coming down onto the floor. Vertebra, for vertebra, letting your feet separating. When you have a mat, mat width apart, letting your knees coming in your center, planting one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart, and close your eyes for me. Connecting your mind with your heart, your heart with your belly. You are one piece. This is all one event. There is no separation. And gently releasing your hands, walking your feet together, meeting them in your center, close to your seat, letting your knees opening towards your side, your soles of your feet meeting. You can bring your hands on your lower belly where your hips meeting, your thighs and your hips meeting, your sacrum. When it's really difficult for your hips, you can create some fists with your hands and planting your hands, your fists, where your hips meet in your thighs, creating your own personal block. With your eyes closed, softening gently your breath. Your heart eases, your lower back releases, your shoulders soft. This soft touch of your feet reminding you you are one piece from your soles of your feet towards your head. Your face, the back side. If this is a comfy pose for you, you are welcome to stay or you're sliding from here gently into your Shavasana, releasing your hands next to your body, separating your legs, your eyes staying closed, Wetting your lips with your tongue and swallow. Soft 
softening in your fingers, maybe develop a curling in a tiny bit. So your wrists growing heavy, your elbows growing heavy, like your shoulders. Your head, this big, big ball on the floor, growing heavy. Your spine grows vertebra for vertebra. You release tension, howling. Your hips, your belly, your organs. And feeling how this allows your energy flowing deep down in your thighs, your knees, your ankles, and your toes. Noticing change. Maybe you feel a shift and change from the beginning to now. Noticing. Appreciating change. What if 2020 isn't cancelled? What if 2020 is the year we've been waiting for? A year so uncomfortable, so painful, so scary, so raw, that is finally forcing us to grow. A year that screams so loud, finally awakening us from our ignorance. A year we finally accept the need to change, declare change, work for change, become the change. A year we finally bend together instead of pushing each other further apart. 2020 isn't cancelled, but rather the most important year of all of them. Some beautiful, inspiring words by Leslie Watt. And gently deepening your breath. With this inner movement of your breath growing deeper and fuller, feeling it traveling this energy towards your toes and your fingers. Start playing with your fingers. Playing with your palms. And maybe this moves into a gentle playfulness in your legs, in your arms. Feel what your body is longing for. Maybe you feel ready and bending, falling in your knees and flowing towards your right side, giving yourself a moment in your fetus, embryo powers. And with your left hand in front of your chest, press yourself up and find the comfortable seat, planting your hands in Anjali Mutra in front of your chest. And as a last, memorizing this intention you've created for today's practice, with your last chanting of Om, letting it go into evaporate into this vast open space trusting 
all will fall in place. Inhaling. Thank you everybody, life here in the room and in your own houses, in your own apartments, in your own homes. Thank you so much for joining this class and showing up so regular. There are so many people coming regularly. It's really very, very touching. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Bless you. Namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Barbara. Oh, thank you very much. See you soon. Tschüss, Mama und Papa. My parents are the... So sweet. So sweet. Tschüss, Papa. So, Lou, you are still here. Thanks for joining.